Hello. So I've got a message for all teachers, teachers aid and such. You all are phenomenal. Phenomenal. You all are definitely keeping your heads afloat during this crisis and I just want to send a lot of love and appreciation for the hard work you're doing, you know, to keep kids ahead so they don't fall behind. It is just awesome the way you're just staying connected with parents, you know, helping them even out on how to do your, how to do their child's work and such. Y'all are just amazing. I tell you, um, teachers do not get enough praise and thank you for the work that they put in to your child. They really don't. They work nonstop. And they do it out of love. That is the reward to see your child accomplish their schooling. That is a teacher's reward. To know that they were able to guide and help that child through the school year. And <clears throat> I think it's very important that in today's time, we give these teachers, you know, a pat on the back, a high five, a hug, a smile, a gesture, just anything to show how amazing and awesome these people are. They work nonstop, writing papers, keeping track of your kids, keeping them engaged, keeping them, you know, focused, making sure they don't fall behind. They, you know, are disciplinarians as well. They guide your child. I mean, they, they do everything. And it's all out of, for the love of teaching. It's all out of to wanting to be a product of society that is able to develop minds and shape them so they can be <clears throat> better prepared for the world that awaits them after school. And I, I gotta say, I, I sent actually my son, teacher, a very heart warm message because I mean, for one, she's she's awesome. She's very sweet. She's awesome. I've never had issues with any of his teachers. They've been great. I've always stayed connected with them, showed my appreciation, and <clears throat> just keep on top of my kid as well as, you know, their schooling and how their teachers are doing. Because as a parent, it's very valid to show appreciation with these people because they do have your kid six hours out of the day and they are doing the best they can to keep your child edu educationally, you know, up to speed and where they need to be. They, and I'm just going to flat out say it, sometimes they put up with your kid's smart ass mouth in reckless behavior, you know, when you're not around, and, you know, because that's, you know, that's part of the job description. You gotta work with <clears throat> unruly kids on occasion, which is normal, you know, it is what it is. But I think there are a lot of parents out there that really need to show love and appreciation to make sure that these kids graduate on time, aren't falling behind, you know, curriculum-wise, staying ahead of the game before summer so they don't have to repeat another school year. I mean, that's, I mean, it's awesome. <clears throat> and I think a lot of parents just need to learn that it's not just the teacher's do job to teach. It's the parents as well. Parents need to stay engaged in their kids' lives and schooling and, you know, and it's, Honestly, it's kind of like relearning everything. I think it's kind of fun. It's a lot more challenging when I've seen my kids' schoolwork. But it is very <clears throat> rewarding getting to see the other side as far as 
being the teacher, being engaged, learning what your kid's learning, I, I think it's interesting. Because it's, curriculum wise, everything is on computer and notepads and it's not like old school where you took notes, wrote them down and textbook wise, it's a whole different scenario. And I think it's good for parents to learn that as well. You know, to learn the new way of teaching and learning. And I'm definitely <clears throat> learning as my kid learns, as most parents do. A lot of times, parents, when you're, ra when you're raising kids, you learn as they learn. So, but yeah, it's, being a teacher is not easy. I've been an aide before, and believe me, it's not easy. I mean, I wasn't even a full-fledged teacher. I've gone to school to be an aide, and it is challenging. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of responsibility. Your your job really is to guide these children through their years to adulthood on educational matter. You know, and it's it comes from the heart. It comes from the heart with these teachers. They don't do it because they get a fat paycheck or a fat raise or anything. They do it from the heart. Because they love to teach. Because they love to guide. They love to live through their students and see them progress and accomplish so many goals by the end of the year. And skills that they didn't have at the beginning. So, you know, they, they are awesome. They are very amazing people. And for you parents out there, you know... Don't, don't complain about your kid's teacher. Don't, you know, badmouth them or anything because, you know, they are putting up with your kid for six hours. They're putting up with your kid, like, as far as their behavior, you know. So, just, just try to be a lot more loving, understanding, and appreciative of these teachers. Because they are the backbone of education. They are the backbone of people progressing in the world and becoming doctors, becoming lawyers, becoming, you know, <clears throat> architects and writers. You know, they are the inspiration be behind your child's goals in their future. And it's very important that you show appreciation and try to be engaged as much as possible as a parent. Try to be engaged in what your child's learning. Ask your, you know, child's teacher questions. If you have concerns, it's always good to stay engaged with your child's teachers and, and just make sure that you all see eye to eye on things, that you all are having an understanding and a certain, you know, following a certain guideline for their IEPs, which is Individual Educational Progress. And, um, so, I just gotta send that message out there to you guys. You all deserve an A for being teachers. Y'all really do. And I hope this message reaches a lot of educators to let you know how special you are and how much as a parent and parents we greatly appreciate your time and effort to help educate our children thanks